the Ummi Messenger. Ikra, read. There is a misconception among many Muslims that the Messenger could not read or write prior to revelation, though he may have done so after, but some say even afterwards he was illiterate. You will not be questioned on Judgment Day whether you believe this is true or not, so it's a non-issue. But non-issues are what religions are all about, keep you engaged with the superfluous and away from what matters, and if you can be made to do this, then it is easy for them to distort other concepts to get you to do anything that is against the Quran. So, my apologies, it is not a non-issue. The following is often quoted in support of the illiterate messenger. Now the law has been revealed to Messenger Muhammad, follow the messenger, the messenger who is a non-Israelite, and who was unlettered, Ami, before the revelation, they find him well described in the Torah and the Gospel with them, he enjoins upon them the right, and forbids them the wrong, he declares lawful all good things, and declares unlawful only the unclean things, he relieves people from the burdens they carried, he breaks the shackles that they used to wear, of mental and physical slavery, and brings them from darkness to light, those who believe in him, honor him, support him, and follow the light that came with him, are the eternally successful. The word Ummi is usually translated as one who can neither read nor write, illiterate. However, as is usually the case, the Quran uses the same word in different contexts so we can find a better understanding of this word that eliminates the problems of language and avoids contradictions. Recall, if an understanding of two verses or words throws up a contradiction between them, then at least one understanding must be wrong and rethought. Also, is it conceivable that as mankind had failed to safeguard the true revelation of Allah, corrupted the Torah, Subur and Injil, and the last, final for all time, would be left in the hands of a man that was illiterate? Miracle, no. Foolish beliefs have to have miracle for proof. The Arabs had one great feature that made them the recipients of the Quran, their language. This could not have reached a scale that could hold the revelation unless it had a history of writing as pre-Islamic poetry testifies to. Traders needed written proof. The Quraysh and Muhammad, need I say more? No previous knowledge of scripture. He it is who has sent a messenger among those who had never before received a scripture, to convey unto them his messages, to make them grow in humanity, to instruct them in the scripture and wisdom, judgment and establishment of God's rule on earth whereas before that they were obviously lost in error. Ami, Gentile, non-Israelite, unlettered, a nation, the Arabs, that had never received a scripture before. This verse tells us that the messenger was sent amongst the Ummiyin, from among those, and refers to the whole population of Mecca at that time. Thus, a literal translation would imply that the whole Arab population was illiterate. Makes no sense. Cross reference with the following, which says that before the Quran was revealed, the Messenger had no knowledge of previous revelations, as from Alif, Lam, Ra, Allah, Latif the Unfathomable, Razik the Provider, states that these are the messages of a revelation clear in itself and clearly showing the truth. Indeed, we have sent it down in all clarity, in the Arabic tongue, so that you might encompass it with your reason. We reveal this Quran to you, O Messenger, and explain it in the best possible way seeing that before this you were indeed unaware of what revelation is. O oh, you who have chosen to be graced with belief, when you transact a loan for any period, you shall write it down, an impartial scribe shall do the writing, no scribe shall decline to perform this duty, and write as God has taught him. A loan, a loan, must be written down by the scribe that hears the deal, but the final revelation was not written down by the first person who heard, received it. Think. Could he authenticate what was being written, as some spoken words are pronounced the same but spelt differently? Those who oppose the truth say, this Quran is a lie that he has devised with the help of other people. Wrong is what they do and falsehood is what they utter. And they say, fables of ancient times which he has written down as they are dictated to him morning and evening. Dictated to him and he had them written down was the accusation of those who oppose the message and the messenger. Someone who is being dictated to writes it down not further dictation to others to write it down. Read. Read. With the name of your Lord who created, created man from a zygote, and passed him through the embryonic stages, endowed him with perceptual and conceptual faculties, gave him the free will, distinguished him from the rest of the animal kingdom. Read. 4. Your Lord is most generous. He has blessed humans with the capacity to learn and teach. Who has taught the use of the pen, taught man what he knew not, 
the pen symbolizes the transmission and exchange of knowledge through written records, unique to man, since this is a divine gift to mankind, it is he who taught, nay, man tries to play God. Targa, trying to be supreme, being a false god, grossly overweening, arrogance beyond limits, creating rebellion, trespassing permanent values, Targut, a false god, tyrant, humans claiming divine powers, priesthood. Read and taught by the pen, so this is not recite, but writing and reading. Always illiterate? We can eliminate this belief immediately as a messenger of Allah needed to be able to read the words of revelation that were being written down by himself and scribes. Nay, this is an advisory, so let him pay heed who wills, in scrolls dignified, exalted, purified, by the hands of scribes, honorable and virtuous. Scribes help write the Quran and if they learned how to read and write then why not a messenger of Allah? The idea that he was illiterate so the Quran is a miracle does not stand up to reason. He needed to authenticate what was being written, so always illiterate is rejected. O oh Messenger you were never able to read a book before this Quran, nor could you write anything with your own hand, or else, they who tried to disprove the truth might have some reason to doubt it. On the face of it, we might infer that this means he could not read and did not write any books and illiterate, but this is the Quran and cross-referencing with those verses already mentioned and more to come we can justifiably understand this verse as stating that the messenger prior to the receipt of revelation himself had not read any scripture nor written anything on the subject and therefore by implication was scripturally undebted that is one who had not previously read any scripture if he had reference to other books he could have been accused of copying these so it does not follow that he was unable to read or write the following confirms that before receiving the quran the messenger did not have knowledge of any scripture. And thus we have revealed to you, O messenger, a life-giving message. By our command, you knew not what revelation is, nor what faith implies. But now we have made it a light whereby we show the way to our servants who will to be shown. And, certainly, O messenger, you guide them to the straight path. The power of faith can revolutionize humanity. Oh, but man is a telling witness against himself. Even though he were to put forward all his excuses, whenever you recite the Quran do not recite in haste stirring your tongue, it is up to us to gather and preserve it and the reading of it, he will bless whatever effort we put into its learning, thus, when we read it, follow the reading. Although these verses are addressed to the exalted messenger, every believer consents as if the Quran is talking to him, huh, then, it is for us to explain, it, the Quran is its own best commentary, it explains itself. Recite means you must be able to read, and follow the reading means the same. Does we read it not include the messenger? In conclusion, using the words Ummi and Ummi in the Quran is not referring to one's general illiteracy, but to one's scriptural lack of knowledge. And the messenger will say, O oh my Lord, these are my people who had abandoned this Quran as something to be neglected. The Quran Unchained